So we're gonna see how it starts cold with just one turn of the key. Just wanna see. Okay, so you see it started but died. Okay, now it's running. So that tells me that most likely that's a very common issue is that fuel pump check valves are bad on this car. So I'm going to So what we're gonna do is uh, lift up the right rear of the car and uh, we're gonna change those fuel pump check valves. And then later on, we're gonna recheck the system. So we're gonna lift it up and get to the fuel pump check. Well, it started raining again at the worst time, but I'm gonna take this wheel off. The car is all secured on the, the blocks and I have this rubber pad right here. So nothing is gonna get damaged. I'm gonna use our trusty BMW factory wrench to remove the lug bolts. So the wheel is off. So now we have to take this plastic cover. Uh, there's gonna be like plastic nuts. I believe they're 10 millimeter. There should be three of them. Two in the front and one is like right there somewhere. Yeah. So I'm gonna take those off. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove that shield to expose the fuel pumps and the fuel filter. You can kind of see, it seems like the fuel filter was replaced at some point. So these are the fuel pump check valves. They're literally screwed in to the back of the fuel pump. And uh, if you have a newer W124 or like mid nineties Mercedes, then you'll most likely have just one fuel pump. This car has two fuel pumps. So that's why I'm gonna be replacing two check valves. And also, if you have these long cranking issues, you know, you can also check a bunch of other things, but these are the mo most common issues uh, that cause the long crank. So these are the ones. Don't forget to wear safety glasses and also don't forget to relieve the fuel pressure before you open the fuel system because there's gonna be a lot of fuel pressure in there. Uh, so the ways you can do it is have the fuel pump out while the engine's running, the engine's gonna die eventually or you know, you can just carefully use a rag and crack the fuel lines open, stuff like that. So that way you don't get uh, fuel pressure all over the place. So you have plastic nut right there, 10 millimeter, took it off, and then there's two in the front. There's actually four nuts, not two. Oh wow, look at that. There's your fuel pumps right there. And the fuel filter and everything. Wow, it looks pretty clean. That's so cool. Okay. So we need to get to the other side of the check valves. All right, so here's your two fuel pumps. The check valves are on the back of them. Now I'm gonna loosen this cap, but before I loosened it, what I noticed is this is like, you see that? I don't know if it was like kind of loose already like that but that's not really supposed to do that. It's just a little like kind of loose, you see that? That could be also an issue with the fuel pressure and stuff, so. Anyways, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and replace this. All right, so to loosen this, you put a 17 millimeter wrench on this check valve, counter hold this, and then unscrew this cap, just like that. Now the cap is loose and I'm probably gonna get sprayed with fuel. Unless probably you already bled the pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no pressure anymore. So yeah, that literally tells me the problem is right here in this area. So I had to loosen this screw and I moved this fuel pump backwards that way, but I feel like I might have to remove one of these screws as well for the hose so I can get to this check valve. So we'll see, but you know, just gotta improvise.
Well, unfortunately, these check valves are the wrong ones that I got. So I'm going to have to wait and order two other ones because they do have, sometimes they have a little bit different thread uh, pitch. So this one's not going to work, unfortunately. So I have to get new ones. So this is going to be kind of, uh, this project's going to be uh, on pause. And in the meantime, I'm going to start taking care of other things this car needs. Well, another thing I noticed is the flex disc in the back is getting worn, so I'm going to have to probably replace it. Uh, the one in the front is actually perfect. Maybe somebody replaced it at some point, but the one in the rear ha started having cracks. So definitely need to take care of that. So I have the car jacked up and everything ready. It's a 17 millimeter bolt and nut on those flex discs. The tr transmission is in neutral, so I can spin the drive shaft. Hopefully, hopefully I can take care of this um, uh, flex disc without having to drop uh, the exhaust and deal with the center support and all that stuff. So hopefully. So here's the flex disc and uh, started looking at it and it, it has, has cracks. So I'm gonna work on that right now, taking it out. All right, so I got really lucky. I took it out in like literally like 10 minutes. Here's the old one. Look how bad this thing is. Pretty sure maybe it was replaced at some point. I'm not sure. We'll inspect it even closer. But yeah, I did not have to do anything with the exhaust. I did not have to uh, loosen anything else up. Yeah, I just had to play around with the pry bar here and there a little bit. So, you guys have it. There's the old guy. And this is a Mercedes part. So, what I think is this has probably never been changed. That's what I think, guys can see the cracking that's so bad right here part number yeah i am pretty sure this has never been changed i mean i could see that the size that the bolts were being turned and stuff like that but that's probably because who knows maybe they had to take that drive shaft out or something at some point but yeah and yeah as you can see guys this is original mercedes brand probably never been changed yeah so yeah good idea to change this so that's what i'm gonna do and i have a couple of uh flex discs in stock so let's see which one fits and we're gonna install it unfortunately these two this, this one's for 126 this one's for 124 but i think this is the front one and uh yeah it's it's not gonna work this tiny little piece is too small, so I'm gonna have to order a new flex disc, but not a huge deal. All right, so I'm gonna install the cleaned up uh, air cleaner housing. Everything here is wrapped up all beautiful and amazing. I also installed a new air cleaner mount right there because that one was broken. Alright guys, several days later and we got brand new Phoebe Flex disc I'm about to show you. Really, really nice, high quality part. And we're going to install it onto this car. And the old one looks pretty bad. It's the old one. Okay. Mainly is, uh, this side. Yeah. So, I really can't wait to do this guys. Can't wait to install brand new flex disc on it and then we're gonna have a couple more things left with on this to do on this car and this car's gonna be amazing, good to go. So hopefully we find an amazing good home for this amazing machine guys. So I'm so excited guys, you have no idea, but this amazing machine is back to life like crazy. Done so much work to this car. Just a quick comparison, made in Germany. And this is original one, Mercedes Benz installing this bad boy and i'm gonna use the same hardware i like to use the same one uh, there's nothing wrong with that all right so i also put copper paste on all six points of the both the yokes and installed this uh flex disc now i'm gonna start installing the bolts the side that has no yoke so that side has no yoke i'm gonna use washer on that side okay 
and then the nut on this side is going to be without the washer whoever had it apart last time didn't put it the right way so that's how i'm gonna do it and that's the right way of doing it like that i'll do these three bolt up the uh, flex disc and then we're gonna reinstall the yoke the drive shaft yoke all righty guys we've got a brand new flex disc installed right there amazing super excited to have this thing in there awesome still working my fuel pump system so i have to change the check valves but here's the flex disc for you guys okay all installed german tight exciting All right, guys, so I finally got two brand new Bosch fuel pump check valves. We're going to be installing them today. They're made in Czech Republic, my brothers and sisters. Thanks to you guys. So, um, yeah, about to take this wheel off, get underneath and install these two fuel pump check valves. And we're going to see and uh, there should be no more long cranking uh, issue on this car. Before, actually, what I really recommend for you guys is to order these fuel pump assembly mounts. These rubber mounts. This one's kind of bad. So I don't have any right now. I might actually add some more later. But as of right now, I'm just going to add a couple zip ties here. And just in case it doesn't, if it breaks off, then it's not going to go anywhere. And now we're going to go ahead and change these fuel pump check valves. And on each side, remember, there's a copper washer. So, yeah, and you have to loosen these mounts to these fuel pumps can actually go move back and forth you know you can also remove the 10 millimeter plastic nuts and this whole assembly will drop whichever way you prefer honestly new fuel pump check valves going in new crush washers top one first all right guys there you guys have it got new fuel pump check valves top and bottom crush washers all installed I'm about to turn the key on to make sure there's no leaks. I also added, like I mentioned, I added a couple of zip ties, one, two, one per each mount, just in case I don't have any anything available right now. So probably gonna do it in the near future. We're gonna replace those rubber mounts, but as of right now, just added, you know, a couple zip ties for protection. But uh, as far as the fuel filter, it was replaced actually at some point. As you can see, there's somebody used like some Teflon tape right there on the thread. So this this is a, a man filter. So it was replaced at some point. So that's a good thing. And while I'm here, I'm probably going to fully film this area before I reinstall the cover back. All right, I added a little bit of fuel because, you know, some of the old one leaked out because I had to wait for the check valves to come in. But now I just topped it off with fresh flu uh, fluid <laughs> fuel. I'm going to do a couple cycles. The key. And then we're gonna check for leaks. Let's go check for leaks. It's pretty cold this morning. But I'm not seeing any leaks so far. I'm about to go in there and check again some more thoroughly and then I'll reinstall the cover. beautiful fuel filler cap and everything she's running now I'm gonna wait a little All right, so we got no fuel leaks from the check valve or this cap. Same thing goes to the upper fuel pump. Everything is amazing here. Uh, the car's been running for a while. Everything is great. And I'm gonna install this cover that goes on here. So, and that's it. 
It's really weird, but I'm test driving this car right now with the head, no headlight. <laughs> Please don't do that at home. But uh, I was just so eager to test drive it. And yeah, my windshield is still like defrosting and all that. But the car feels pretty solid, pretty good. So yeah, super exciting, amazing machine brakes are good and everything wow yeah, so awesome the heater is all good all working it's just gonna need alignment uh, adjustment and all that but other than that it's an amazing machine super beautiful I made this thing immaculate we can say <laughs> yeah lovely machine <laughs>